the Libertarian Party is not the reason your guy lost. It's not the reason for an unsuccessful blue wave or red wave. It's not even that effective on its own. Um, I thought I would start this off by saying that because it's pretty funny to consistently hear from a bunch of people that the Libertarian Party is this menace who is simultaneously capable of um, being the reason your candidates lose and somehow also um, a fringe and terrible uh, group of people. Now, to be clear, some people in the Libertarian Party are a fringe and terrible group of people. And I have been very, very public about going against those people for a variety of reasons, and getting blackballed in a variety of circles for it. Uh, if you want me on your show, then feel free, because... Uh, most people don't have the balls. But, before I get into this, uh, this is brought to you by Liberty Professionals. Uh, it's uh, one of the longest term and biggest supporters of this channel, and my content in general. Um, and ultimately, uh, if you're looking, like, he moved recently, uh, and is no longer in Virginia. If you're looking for security consulting, like, how to set up your, your like, secure business, home, life, uh, you can contact him uh, at his website, uh, and you can also find all of the information uh, necessary to do so in the description. Um, and he can do remote consultations as well, so you don't have to live in Texas to get a consult from him. It's also brought to you by Brushfire2048, the sequel to... Uh, uh, book that uh, an author has put out that has also sponsored my content for a significant amount of time uh, a while back, and also brought to you by uh, PreSearch, which uh, sponsors Agoris Nexus, the site I write for. You can use the link to sign up for free to benefit us. Um, anyway, now that all that's out of the way, I, w I will say, again, that ultimately, uh, when people... <laughs> When people say that um, that that the Libertarian Party is somehow some evil fringe, they're partially right, but they're also not the reason your guys lost. The first reason your guys lost is because it's not a winnable system for liberty, or rights, or dignity. Every single one of the things that you claim to want, you're not going to get from a politician. You're not going to get from the political system. It's not going to fucking happen. Because this system is built this way. It's built this way. And if you don't agree with that, it's because you're not paying attention. The candidates that win are overwhelmingly moneyed. And I'll, and I'll get into that shortly, but they're overwhelmingly moneyed. And the overwhelmingly um, successful candidates, they always get a huge amount. The biggest spenders fund the successful candidates. It's not about <laughs> it's not about principle. It's not about messaging. It's about who gets the most money. And who has the most money? Old money. People who have made the system this way to begin with. The the old money state capitalists, the banksters, the warmongers, the intelligence industrial complex people, the, the fucking entrenched teachers unions and, you know, um, media corporations. They are the ones who make this this way. And they're all, in, uh, like, affiliated with the Bilderberg Group. Uh, doing secret meetings every year to decide how things are run. So, it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody with their eyes open that your candidate didn't win if they were actually going to be different or any sort of hit to the system at all. And if they are very mainstream, 
then it doesn't fucking matter who won. Because the Democrats will swing to the Republican positions that keep them popular with the donors, and the Republicans will switch to the positions that keep them popular with the Democrat donors. And it's going to continually happen to where everybody is going to lie about the influence that these big money people have on the political system in order to say that they're just being pragmatic. Well, fuck pragmatism. And also, fuck anybody who's from one of the non-moneyed parties who goes for prag pragmatism anyway. Like Arizona Libertarian guy who was like, yeah, sure, we can go with the MAGA Republican, I'll drop out. You know? And that guy was so happened to be funded by Peter Thiel, massive conservative old money guy, uh, who lies about lib being a libertarian and is on the steering committee for the Bilderberg Group. Um, these people are entrenched power. Um, and, and just to be super clear here, I'm not just talking out of my ass. I got a source. Um, Open Secrets does really fucking good work. Go to their fucking site, dude. Every single time, you'll see this. Spend big, win big. 96% of U.S. house races won by the biggest spender. That's a good article to read. Read it. And they also went over the fact that, like, $16.7 billion was spent on the elections this year. $16.7 billion was spent on the fucking midterms. And you're about to see the entrenched powers that are keeping everything this way and keeping your candidate from winning if they lost. And remember, they call the voting machines Dominion. If that's not on the fucking nose, I don't know what is. If, I'm not saying this happened, but if I wanted to rig a uh, voting system uh, in favor of dystopia, one of my choices, uh, if I really wanted to be cheeky about it, might be to call the machines that I did that with Dominion. Just fucking saying. But uh, this same source, Open Secrets, has a list of the top donors this year. And uh, the donors to outside spending groups include... Hey, look at the top of the list. Fucking George Soros. Hey, look at uh, look at Citadel uh, LLC, which is very well known for being huge money. Uh, look, look into uh, uh, FTX.us. Wow, that went very well this year. Uh, Schwartzman Steven, so Steven Schwartzman of Blackstone Group. You know how people have been talking about how Blackstone owns, like, way too much? And how BlackRock, uh, which basically split off from Blackstone, uh, you know, how those people also own a fuck ton? Keep in mind, Blackstone owns, like, hundreds of billions in assets, and, uh, BlackRock owns trillions. And they use this to keep themselves in power. Like, they, they keep the entrenched people in power. That's, that's their job. And they constantly keep these mega corporations afloat with investments and encouragements and, like, participation in their index funds and shit like that. So they're big, big money. So is George Soros. He's behind a significant amount of political corruption. Um, and, and, and so you scroll down. And you see then, hey, it's Peter fucking Thiel of the steering committee of the Bilderberg Group. Uh, the guy who funded the guy who uh, the Arizona guy dropped out to let win. Win. That is if this system works at all. Um, and you keep scrolling and you see NewsWeb Corp, which is a bunch of like, you know how you see those like four letter local stations? It's a bunch of those. Um, you know, so local news donated a significant amount. Um, Oracle Corp, that's not fucking creepy at all, that a massive tech, uh, giant was invested this much. Bloomberg, 
Hey, remember how much shit I talk about Bloomberg and the fact that he threw um, $100,000 to promote Biden in Florida, who then won in Florida? Uh, remember how he's a massive racist, fascist piece of shit who said that stop and frisk was a great way to get to the people who were responsible for crime, etc.? Because you could just Xerox a description and throw them against the wall in those neighborhoods, black and brown neighborhoods. You remember how he's a massive piece of shit who is responsible for a rag which constantly benefits from the suffering that their partners create? Yeah, he donated a shit ton to the campaigns this year, and he always fucking does. Um, you know. <laughs> and And you keep on doing it. You keep on, you see more FTX, you see, like, all these people affiliated with all these, like, <laughs> all these boilerplate organizations, and you start to see that maybe the reason that this is all happening is because these people have an entrenched fucking financial interest in making sure that it always does. Do you think they're going to give up? Do you think that they're going to go quietly into that night and say, well, gosh, uh, this libertarian candidate sure did uh, get them numbers. I guess I give up. You know, you think Mike Bloomberg's going to be all like, yeah, you know, I, I fuck, man. Uh, I, I wanted to, to keep on throwing money at these uh, boilerplate neoliberals and neocons. But you know what? Yeah, you, you, you got me, people's party. You, you got me. I... I Fair and square. N no. That's not going to happen. None of this is going to happen. Because the real reason your libertarian or etc. candidate didn't win, the real reason that your preferred version of boot leather in the form of blue or red didn't win, is because the system had already gerrymandered everything to fucking back, and the rich people just had to make sure that enough people in those areas uh, would be okay with whatever result came out uh, in order to make sure that things stayed exactly the fuck way they are. And that's how it's always going to be. As long as we have this political system, that's how it's going to fucking be. Now, we have choices. We have fucking options. We could, you know, get a better system. We could live more ethically. We could push for an actual libertarian future and stop participating in this political noise. But if you want to say that participating in this system, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, etc., is going to dramatically shift the window here, you're fucking blind. And you're not paying attention to who is funding what and why. And you'll notice, uh, if you, like play that part of the video back that you can see a part of the columns there where it said which like side th these people generally donate to like the democrats or the republicans right um and you can see those columns and you can see a decent amount of balanced variation that's the reason why everybody's being like oh, i'm waiting on bated breath to see who who ticks that that little red bar or blue bar over the line on that chart all these mainstream media outlets keep on pumping out i'm so invested in such riveting entertainment it's because it's fairly evenly fucking balanced because they want to keep you into these very limited choices until it's time to swing things, you know, into a direction that benefits their power. And none of these people are going to stop the CBDC. None of these people are going to stop the coming financial tyranny and global fascism. All of these people are going to be boilerplate enough or minority enough that they don't matter to the political process. So even if your guy wins, they're going to be shackled and have no power. Hobbled and fucking, like... <laughs> stop from doing anything you want them to if you have any designs on any meaningful change. But you can keep pretending if you want that this system is going to serve people or that, hey, you know, <laughs> oh no, you're a libertarian. He got like 2% of the vote and this candidate, he just needed that 2% of the vote in order to win. Oh, it's because of libertarians we lost. 
Fuck off. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Your candidate, if the voting system does work at all, failed to swing the, like, two-thirds of Americans who regularly don't fucking vote, myself included, because they didn't present enough of a difference to fucking matter to those people and get them off the couch. And if that isn't true, and if, like, there are a lot of people who did vote, and, like, yeah, you know, the system is just rigged, then it doesn't fucking matter anyway. So either it doesn't matter, or you didn't do a good enough job. It's not anybody else's fault but yours for either maintaining a corrupt system or not doing enough to stop it. You fucking worm. So, like, yeah, no. Your your candidate lost because it's a pre-planned and rigged system designed to serve the elites that have always been running this shit. That's why your guy lost. Because money won! Money won! Profit and power won! The establishment won! The elites won! And they always fucking will! Because that's how this system is set up. Reliably and statistically proven to have been set up this way. All set up with nice, friendly names like Dominion. So don't blame us, anybody, non-voters or voters who didn't vote the way you wanted them to vote, for your guy having lost. It's because the system sucks or you do. You piece of shit. I had writer's block until I thought of this subject. Sometimes I think of, like, subjects really late in the fucking evening because I just can't... I can't get my brain, which has been burning all day with the bullshit people spew... To get on fucking track. But you know, it was relatively easy to think this video up once it came through. Because you know, fuck every single one of you that parrots this line. And if only that two-third were devoted, we would have won. If you didn't win now, it's because you didn't get that two-thirds of people on your fucking side. And that's not anybody else's fault but yours. Do better. And if that two-thirds people couldn't sway anything because the system is rigged anyway, which, spoiler alert, it fucking is, then guess the fuck what? It doesn't matter whether or not they voted. They would find a way to gerrymander and piss-bomb things into the way they wanted them to be anyway. So either it doesn't matter or you don't. Shut the fuck up. And that's... All the reason anybody should need to realize that the system is fundamentally rigged against the common person and get us all on board to smash the fucking stick.